So it's 1730 and you need to send someone a message like uh, telling them that someone's died or that their dinner's ready or you just want to give them a bit of a morale boost. Um, this person's a few miles away. Um, this can take place anywhere in the world. What's the quickest way to send them a message? You know, the most simple way is you could just walk to the person and tell them the message. The average person walks at about three miles an hour, so that would take about an hour to get there. That's not very fast, not very efficient, and you need to know where the, know where the person is. Um, you could run, and the average is about 10 miles an hour, so that would be a bit quicker. Um, you could write it down on a letter and, like, give it to a dude on a horse, and he can, like, absolutely hammer it and get there really, really quickly in, like, sort of 12 minutes or so. Um, but again, that requires sort of knowing where the person is. Um, and it does take a bit of time, and if it gets even further away, it takes even longer. Um, you could, like, light a beacon up on a hill somewhere, and then hope that the other person uh, is on a similar hill and can see your beacon. Um, but even in that thing, you know, in 1730, there's no sort of, you know, code or anything like that, so you can't really have very complex sort of discussions. The ancient Greeks had a couple of things in the past where, they would do, where that would just mean, like, oh, there's trouble, but you can't send any serious information in that. But there is actually a method of communication which smashes all of these completely out of the water. Any ideas? The African talking drum. For hundreds, if not thousands of years, villages in sub-Saharan Africa would have drummers that could uh, basically drum out a very complex message. They wouldn't use sort of simple words, you know, saying like, uh, oh, an elder in our village has died. Instead, it would be this really poetic, lyrical uh, sort of uh, series of phrases. And the reason why they could do this on the drum is, is because you could use tone, which was very similar to the languages used. And this could travel over miles in a sort of radial direction because that's how sound works and you can send messages to people. Also on top of that other villages nearby could repeat the message, hear the message and pass it along. And the amazing thing about that is that's basically how the modern internet works. Like your computer doesn't have a digital envelope saying I want to go to Facebook and give it to a digital horse that rides all the way to Facebook. Instead it sends out a digital message on its network that then gets to a router and then the router sends another message and then another router sends another message and so on and so forth. Um, but this was a series of a network that had been around hundreds of years before the internet came along. And the amazing thing about this is there were European explorers in Africa since, the, since 1730, but they didn't know about it. They didn't notice it until 1841. They just thought, oh, it's just the drums making sounds, can't mean anything. And the, and the, you know, and the natives were having conversations, possibly about them, going, oh, what a bunch of wankers. In fact, the first person who noticed the fact that there was communication over the drums was Captain William Allen in 1851, who was reading an expedition down the Niger River. Um, and at one point, their Cameroon pilot uh, sort of just kind of glazed over, looked like he was daydreaming, sort of listening to the air. And they went, what are you doing? What's going on? He went, oh, I'm listening to my son. My son is talking to me. And they were like, what? And he went, he's talking to me over the drums. At first, they literally couldn't believe that you could communicate using something like a drum. Because in European culture, yes, a drum might occasionally mean turn left or stop marching. But you can never have long, sort of interesting discussions with it. And in fact, there wouldn't be a technology that would be able to have the information density of the African talking drum until Morse code was invented and used with the telegraph. That's amazing. See you tomorrow.